All right, guys, I'm doing um, a tutorial for the glitter HTB on your cup. Now, my cup is already glittered and has a light coat of epoxy over it to seal the glitter in. And then I've sanded it and made it as smooth as possible. And I use glitter HTB for glitter designs mainly um, because when it adheres to the cup it doesn't get the bubbles and the air pockets as much as the adhesive vinyl so what you will need is i use a gardening glove and you will see why a um, painter shape i like the kind that you get in the uh, automotive area at walmart because I don't know, it seems to work better for some reason and it's not as expensive as the blue or frog tape. Um, just a rag, a pair of tweezers, and your embossing tool or heat tool, what people call it. Um, my design, I've already done a little prep work basically you just tape it as far away from the edges as possible um, on your cup wherever you want the design mine happens to go crisscross in the back so I've taken part of the clear that goes over the HTV off and taped it that way and then you place it all where you're gonna want it now sorry guys bear with me I'm not very great at the whole videoing myself thing um, now sorry give me just okay Goodness gracious, I apologize. My teenager's got this little doohickey for me that stands my phone up and it's not very well, working very well. Now, you're gonna turn your embossing tool on. Don't get it too close to the vinyl or to the um, plastic that goes over the HTV because it will curl and it will like bunch up really bad and it bunches the HTV up and you're just going to go from one end and you're going to go all the way around it sometimes I will set my tool right on top of it but that's just to get it to, to adhere to the to the cup now the reason for the gardening glove when you touch this and you want to push it down make sure that it's getting on there because it'll it'll heat it up but if it's not pressed down onto the cup it will not stay and it is very hot so you want to stop every you know 10 20 seconds and and press it all down where you've heated it up because you're heating up the glue I'm trying to make sure my design is underneath this once you've gotten the top part on and it's glued you know it's heated on you can take the tape off Again, stop every few seconds so that you're making sure that your vinyl is nice and even and not crooked. You'll notice that it'll start to come apart from the from the plastic. Don't peel it off yet. Keep going. 
to protect the vinyl behind it. Once you've gotten it on there and it's all starting to come off from the tape, make sure that you've gotten the, the corners down. Like mine over here, the corners didn't get down all the way. The corners are the most important part because they're, they're going to keep it straight. And then the tweezers, because the plastic gets very hot, and I've burnt myself a few times, and it hurts really bad. It's all going to peel off, as you can see. Plastic is all came off. Now, you're going to press it down with your glove, or you can use a rag or whatever. You're going to go back over it. Make sure it's all down because the corners will peel up if it's not fully adhered and the glue isn't all completely hot. Just like you would when you're ironing it on to a t-shirt. I also feel like it it just it it looks better, it's more vibrant on the cup than say you know, regular glitter vinyl. So I've pushed it all down. You can see there's no gaps or anything like that. Now we're going to move on to this, the bottom piece. I'm going to do the same thing. Make sure you get all the corners and do the front first, or at least for my design. I decided to use a more intricate design instead of just like a basic simple shape or whatnot or letters because I figured that with this, you'll know how to do it, you know. A large design of wrap around or whatever you want to call it um, and if you can get this down then obviously you know a simple monogram or whatnot will be pretty simple now you're going to keep going all the way around the top of the design the outside and on the bottom get it all the middle part will come you know when you go over it after you've taken off the plastic the outside like I said you don't want to get it too close because you don't want to curl the the paper or the plastic which you can kind of see I don't know if you can see where it started to curl right here because I got it really really close and you can actually see where it started to lift right there because the plastic started to heat up and melt so again I'm taking my glove and I'm pushing it along to keep it in this spot that I want it now you can do this with a rag if you don't have you know don't use you know ex the plastic vinyl or um, the blue gloves or black gloves or whatever that you would use um, while you're epoxying or while you're glittering or whatnot. I use gloves for everything because my fingers are they're <laughs> they're very sensitive. Um, so, but you can also use a rag and just go along the sides. I feel like gloves give me more of a feel for everything. So I know where it's all going. And I'm going to get back here. There you go. That right there is how the plastic will curl when it melts it if you get it too close to the design. But it's starting to come off. Now, remember, it's not completely adhered yet, even though the plastics came off. 
you still want to go back over it and make sure there's no bubbles anywhere. Press everything down. Also, the gardening gloves make it easier to press it down where the rags will get the glitter caught and then it pulls it and gets the little fuzzies and all that stuff and it's just not as you know you have to do this dab instead of be able to really get it down so now all the plastic has came off and I'm going to keep going Now, I did touch my glitter right there with my heat tool because I wanted it to quickly adhere real quick right there on top. And that way it wasn't flying around. And I'm just pushing and pushing, pushing it all down, making sure there's no bubbles. Now, because it crisscrosses right here, I'm gonna extra heat it up to make sure. Sorry guys, I got cut off. My phone decided to stop videoing. But anyways, so that is how you apply Glitter HTV to a cup. And like I said before, I like using it because it gets less air pockets and bubbles than the sign vinyl. Anyways, thanks for watching y'all and I hope it helped.